going on guys Colorado car dude here with another video we have another truck in for a ceramic coating this one is a 55 Chevy also owned by the family that has that beautiful 72 Chevy that we coated a few weeks back this 55 is absolutely gorgeous there are a few paint defects and minor things with it that you know aren't perfect um, but all in all, super nice truck. That's something that they can drive and enjoy and have fun with it. It's got a 57 Chevy truck hood on it. So first thing we're gonna do is go through here, wipe it down, and then we're gonna clay bar it, get all the junk off the bugs and whatever else off the paint, get as perfect as we can. Then we're gonna go through and do our single stage prep polish around the whole thing and then we're gonna get it coated. All right, so once again, unfortunately, I did not get as much content as I wanted to get on the overall process of getting the vehicle prepared and then coating it. Um, like I said before, this vehicle has a lot of little paint imperfections, minor little things here and there, defects and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, there's a lot of little chemical popping, stuff like that that you can barely pick up on camera, but it isn't perfect. Um, the downside to coatings is they kind of exaggerate or they, they you know, fully show any imperfections. So um, because you're adding another coat of clear to it, you end up seeing more of the chemical popping. You end up seeing more of kind of the uh, orange peel and um, little divots and other natural kind of slight imperfections and stuff like that from the painting process. So that is a downside to it. This truck's more of a driver and, um, you know, the paint job's not 100% on it, but you know, it's one of those things that the majority of people are going to take a look at this truck and be blown away. Um, you know, only perfectionists are people that do detailing or paint and body or, you know, show car people are going to notice the imperfections. Um, but other than that, the truck's, you know, absolutely gorgeous. So there's really no reason to um, be upset by the little things. I mean, it is frustrating. There's a few scratches and stuff as well. Um, on the bumpers and stuff but at the end of the day it's a vehicle it's meant to be driven and enjoyed and that's kind of the nice thing about this truck is that you can drive it I mean I would still be nervous personally driving this around because the truck's beautiful um, but you know it's not a hundred percent and so it's one of those things it's not something you feel like you have to keep it in a museum that you're afraid to take it out and enjoy it so that's kind of the beautiful thing of you know vehicles like this still a beautiful vehicle but you know it's something that you can actually enjoy so, um, we went again with the McKees 37 on here, did two layers of it, um, just cause I really wanted to see how it would pop. And I mean, it definitely looks nice. Um, <laughs> it's hard to say on a vehicle like this just because the paint already had a lot of clear on it, but we did, um, two layers of the coating and gosh, I mean, it, it pops. Um, we're going to pull it outside and take a look at it and see if you can kind of get a better idea for how shiny it is uh but yeah it's uh pretty incredible looking so i think they're gonna love it but let's pull it outside we'll check for any high spots check for any little imperfections that we can take care of before the coating's entirely cured up and then we'll go from there Here she is out in the sun.